Let's take another look at the chain rule. I have six examples here that we will go through in detail. Now, the first one, d4x cubed by dx, doesn't actually require the chain rule. We are trying to find the derivative of 4x cubed with respect to x. Now, there's just x in here, and we're finding the derivative with respect to x. So, the derivative of 4x cubed is, of course, 12x squared, and we're done. Now, let's have a look at the second example, dy by dx. This is different to dx by dx. Now, dx by dx is simply the derivative of x, which is 1. dy by dx is not 1. In fact, we don't actually know what it is. There's nothing we can do. We have to keep it like this without further information. Let's look at dx times y by dx, the derivative of a product that involves x and y with respect to x. Now, a product, of course, requires the product rule. So we will start with the derivative of x. And I'm going to write this in a lot of detail now. I want the derivative of x with respect to x times y plus x times the derivative of y with respect to x. Now this is of course 1 times y, or just y, plus x times dy by dx. And for similar reasons to above here, we have to keep dy by dx. We don't know what it is unless there's further information. So we're done here. Let's look at the next example d by dx, ln and y. We have a y in the function, but we want the derivative with respect to x. This is not straightforward. We have to use the chain rule. So what I will do is to rewrite this. We're using a different variable. So instead of having d, ln and y by dx, I'm going to use dy. So I now use y as the variable uh, with respect to which we're differentiating. Now the derivative of ln y with respect to y is simply the derivative of ln y, which is 1 over y. So what's, what we get here is 1 over y dy by dx, and we're done. Looking at d by dx sine y, that is d sine y by dy, dy by dx, according to the chain rule, that gives us cos y times dy by dx. And finally, let's have a look at the derivative of cos y squared with respect to x. Now we can write this as d cos y squared by dy, dy by dx, according to the chain rule again. What is this derivative? We have to use the chain rule in here as well. I'll just do this one in one go. The derivative of cos y squared would then be negative sine, the derivative of the outside function, which is cos. We replace the inside function again times the derivative of the inside function, times the derivative of y squared with respect to y, so that would be 2y. And we still have a dy by dx here. So if you like, you can rearrange this and write it as negative 2y sine y squared times dy by dx. And I hope this makes it a bit easier to understand why in some cases you have to use the chain rule, and in other cases you simply find a derivative, like here.